name's Joanna. I'm the owner of Core Fusion Pole Studio in Perth. And today I'd like to tell you a little bit about how much I love pole dancing and how good it is for you that anyone can do pole dancing um, for fun and for fitness. Um, I was the Australian pole champion in 2013. I was also the international masters champion and a finalist on Australia's Got Talent. And I'm a 45 year old mother of two. So today I'm going to show you a couple of basic moves that you might learn in your first few pole lessons and then I might put together, them together in a little bit of a combination and show you a few more advanced routines. So pole dancing classes are going to give you a full body workout. It's um, a fantastic place to come to share that experience with your friends and your new friends, your new pole family. Um, everyone is so supportive of each other, doesn't matter if you can do the move, you can't do the move, we have so much fun in our classes. And pole is amazing for your upper body strength, for tone, for your upper body. <laughs> so you're lifting your whole body weight up the pole, it also helps to engage your core, which is obviously going to work for your abs and works your back muscles. So um, if you're looking for a fun form of fitness that's going to help increase your upper body strength, your core strength, but also to work your glutes and your legs, then pole is the perfect sport for you. We start every class with a good warm-up. We want to make sure that we're not going to injure ourselves and that our bodies are nice and warm. We raise our heart rate a little bit, so there's a little bit of cardio at the start of the class. And we make sure that we're going to be prepared for every exercise that we're going to do throughout the lesson. At our studio, we start our beginners on a static pole, which means the pole is not spinning, and we just learn um, some good grip techniques. We start to get aware of our bodies moving around the pole and where we are in space in relation to the pole. And then when we move on to our next levels, we start to take the pole onto spin, so the pole itself is actually spinning. So today, I'm going to show you a few basic moves we would do on the static pole. Um, your style can be adapted to suit you. Some people like to be a little bit more sexy, some people like to be a little bit more funky, and we try and encourage everyone to bring a little bit of themselves into the class. So even just a basic walk around the pole, we want to create space between the pole and ourselves, and we want to make sure that we're engaging all the muscles of the shoulder blades, and we get a good, firm grip on the pole. So we're going to walk around the pole, so I can just walk with my hips like walking around the pole. And then I'm going to add a dip, and a dip, and I'm going to turn all the way around. I always like to start off with my toes, because it makes me feel more lifted and supported, and it makes me feel taller. And then I can really engage through my shoulder blades. And the next step would be to take the feet off the floor. So we take it into a spin, a five spin with our knees on the pole. So I'm going to do three steps again, three steps staying away from the pole, drawing a circle around the pole, draw a circle with my leg, knees come on the pole and I spin and land and roll myself back up again. So another variation on that spin is to cross the ankles over. Or to take one leg behind. So we have a couple of couple of variations on those moves where we're bringing the leg now in front of the pole into a hook position. Or spinning into a back hook. So this arm comes up, circle my leg around. And I can slide all the way to the floor. So we can also use the pole to go down and up from the floor. Sliding down to the floor. We use our arms and our legs to pull and push ourselves back up. We run our classes in eight week terms, which is one hour a week. Um, although some people do like to come more than once a week and then once they get addicted, they come three or four times a week. Um, and over the eight week term, we learn a routine. So within a class, you do your warm up. We focus a lot on working on technique of the moves, working both sides of the bodies. And then at the end of the class, we work on our routine. Here's an idea of a routine you might do something like this in your um, beginner's turn with us.
So now I'm just going to do a little bit of a freestyle, just put together a few moves, see what happens, and show you some of the things that you could achieve if you keep up with your pole work, and maybe in a couple of years' time are looking at um, performing at a more advanced level. Thank you for watching. Um, if you're looking for pole dancing classes, we'd love to have you here at Core Fusion Pole Studio. Um, but if you're not in the area and looking for another studio, make sure you find somewhere that's going to teach safety and good technique because that's very important because it is um, can be a dangerous activity, but as much as it's fun, we want to make sure you're safe. If you're looking to buy a pole for home, we recommend X Pole. Um, we can purchase X Poles for you through our studio. Ex-Pole supply poles all around the world, so whatever country you're in, look up your local Ex-Pole dealer. Um, Ex-Poles come in a variety of diameters and surfaces, chrome, stainless steel, brass and now silicon. So you've got a lot to choose from. Um, feel free to come and discuss it with us at any time and we hope to see you in class soon.